All right, so we are gonna do a Dolce de Leche dessert panini. Mm. So we have croissants that we've sliced in half, and Jenna's gonna spread a tablespoon, roughly a tablespoon, on each side of our croissants. So you get that nice, rich, salty caramel flavor. We have our grill heating up. If you haven't seen the other videos that I've done, this is the new for spring and summer. This is the new deluxe grill griddle. Um, it has three optional plates with it. This is the, the grill plate, but it also has the griddle flat plate. It also has a waffle plate. Oops, I dropped a piece over here. Which one? Top or bottom? Top. Oopsie. Don't do this while I, <laughs> I do got the, it. Okay. We're going to do strawberries. So this recipe gives you the option to do either brie or marshmallow. So we're going to do one of each just so we can try them both and see what sound, what tastes the best. All right. So this one over here, I'm going to do marshmallows on top of our strawberries. I'm going to do the brie. So it is two marshmallows cut in eight slices each, or it is eight slices of your brie cheese. So we're gonna put our lids back on and they're gonna go on our grill. And we're gonna let these cook and we'll come back and let you see what they look like when they're done. All right, our paninis are done. Oh my goodness. Check those out. <laughs> Strawberry and brie on one side, and we have strawberry and marshmallow on the other. Yum. Whoop. That just tells you this grill is non-stick. It's non-stick nothing, for nothing sure. Nothing sticks. So we're actually going to do two more. We are trying a, a, an experiment here. We are doing brie and marshmallow together with and the show strawberries. Show how this does the... Oh, so... this you don't have to smash them. Yes. So you have an adjuster over here, so we can actually adjust it so that it's not going to smash them but it's just going to cook and melt the cheese. You don't have to have them totally smashed like this. So if you have like either a tortilla or, you know, like a pizza, and then it'll still cook from the top and the bottom at the same time and yes. then squish it. So here is our amazing, um, this little tool right here, you can actually use this as a knife in a pinch if you want to. Oh, we gotta show them that. To get this is. cut in half, because you gotta see the inside of this. That yummy, Yum. gooey strawberry with that brie cheese. And this one over here is marshmallow, marshmallow. with the strawberries and the caramel. And we are gonna have dessert and we're gonna come back and show you some awesome products in just a little bit. All right, so actually fooling, we're back because I forgot to show you this amazing whipped cream maker that Pampered Chef has. So, so what would be even better? Is yes. So on the side maker. of this, First, you want to put this thing, the secret is put this thing in the freezer so that you, you have a line right here. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but there's a line on the whipped cream maker right here. And that's where you want to fill the whipped cream too. Because if you overfill this thing, the heavy cream, yes, you're going to have issues and that's not something that you want to do. So this is really heavy whipped cream. <laughs> All right. So we have a whipped cream in there. Jen's going to put in some powdered I'm sugar. Sure Just keep shaking a little bit. So this makes enough whipped cream for like two people if you just want a little whipped cream if you're it's just you and, and we want to sweeten it that's what we use yes that. if you want to have a little little something for you and hubby this is the way to do it a little bit of whipped cream so this is the piece down here that is actually going to whip the cream for you right here so we've got our powdered sugar in there we're going to put our lid on nice and tight and work out again so you can eat some another work So we had a little little snafu here. We didn't have our lid on all the way, so just make sure that you have your lid on. We make mistakes too. So. We do. We're not <laughs> professionals. <laughs> so we just play one on TV. Yes, we do. <laughs> so you're gonna pump this for about 30 sec, 30 to 60 seconds, and you're gonna have perfect. <laughs> get your, you know, if you start like maybe doing some bends while you're doing this, you can really oh get a gosh, good workout. <laughs> All oh the desserts goodness. we're doing, we gotta have some squats. Yes. Okay, so let's look at this. This was, look at that. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. It is perfect whipped cream, ready for our 
dessert. Yes, I'm making a little bit of a mess, but let me grab. It'll be worth it. We'll just use our tablespoon. And we're gonna put oh our whipped cream. God, that looks better than any store-bought for sure. Right on top. You oh can get it a little God. thicker if you want it. But for this, do more pumps and squats. Yep, more pumps and squats. But for this, I think it needs to be a little bit thinner. Because you want that really, really creamy whipped cream to that. mix in. So now that I've made a mess with the whipped cream, now we're gonna go eat. Now we're gonna go eat. And we're ready to eat. <laughs>